Strawberry? Strawberry. You want orange? Orange. Because your brother done ate all the strawberry. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he ate it. I don't know. No, you don't want that? You want apple? Apple. Okay, get it. Apple. Get apple. Apple. Get it. Apple. Oh, yeah, that's apple. Oh, yeah, that's apple. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to like the blueberry, but if you want to eat it, Ziki, go ahead. Yeah, say blueberry. You need blueberries. All right, so good morning and welcome back to my videos. I know I have not been vlogging or posting videos in general for a little minute. Um, and I wanted to do this video for, um, for today because today we are going to the pumpkin patch. So we are here. We're in the parking lot. Um, we're waiting for their um, for their dad to come um, because he's going to take pictures of them. Um, this is kind of like a tradition um, that we do with them every year. So we did it like the first year that they were born. They were only like a month old and we took them to the pumpkin patch and we got pictures from that first Halloween season to this Halloween season. So um, we are going to continue it. COVID is not going to stop us. We have matching masks to go with our outfits. So COVID is not gonna stop this. Um, but yeah, I wanted to record it because my babies actually know what Halloween is. They know what pumpkins are. They get excited when they see it. So I wanted to actually record this because this is honestly like the first time that they're like excited to go to the pumpkin patch. It is not just mommy that's like, ooh, pumpkin patch. Like, let's take these pictures. Like, no, now Eli's like pumpkin, pumpkin. So I'm excited because now we can see their excitement and they can use their own words to express how they feel. So again, I'm really excited. Um, also, I wanted to try to do a little bit of Vlogtober, so um, I'm going to try and get as much footage as I can today because I really want this to be a good vlog for myself, for y'all, and for the boys whenever they want to look back at it. But I'm going to stop rambling um, because nobody really wants like a long, long intro. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you when we get out the car.
See, they look much happier. <laughs> that was not enough. Enough All right, so we finished up with the pumpkin patch, and you might be like, sis, you look different. You right, because I live in Florida and it's hot. So I took I took it all off because it was hot. Um, I put the boys in the car. As you can see, they're kind of tired. It's, a, it's nap time, basically. Um, however, we are in a different city than where we actually live. We're still in the same county, but just a different city. So right now, I was like, okay, let me stop to the nearest restaurant to get some water um and that happened to be chick-fil-a however chick-fil-a has 30 cars in line right now like i'm not even exaggerating it's really about 30 cars um so we're gonna say we're gonna wait in this line for a little bit um and the reason being is because uh chick-fil-a also has fresh fruit and what zeke what's the problem what's the problem okay so and the reason that i'm going to get the fruit from here is because i didn't realize that zeke actually liked blueberries and so he had them this morning and i'm like you like blueberries poo so i know that chick-fil-a has blueberries and apples they eat apples they love strawberries and they have the mandarin oranges they don't care for mandarin oranges to be honest i don't think i've ever given my kid or kids um mandarin oranges um they just eat regular oranges and i think the taste is a little funny to them so they don't like it um they tried it this morning and they don't care for it um and they don't care for green apples um so i usually eat the mandarin oranges out of it um and the green apples just get thrown away because their mama don't like green apples either um but i just wanted to come to you and tell you all that little piece as well as the boys did really good um you know it's nap time so of course they're gonna start to get whiny eli looks like he's just like chilling like i'm gonna fall asleep at any moment um so i'm going to try and hurry up and get this stuff um hopefully i can get the fruit before they go to sleep that way they can eat the fruit um because i've been trying to do more of like a healthy kind of um diet for all of us um myself included um i don't want to say myself mainly but you know low-key myself mainly um but i feel like it's good for them as well so i am going to um i'm going to do that and then i will come back to you all later after nap time because we did get them pumpkins um so they're going to um they're going to do three things with this pumpkin they're going to first like do like sticker decorations on the pumpkin and then i'll take it off and then they're going to actually paint the pumpkin which will be a different day and then lastly we will carve the pumpkin so this this little pumpkin is gonna see a lot of stuff so yeah so i'll come back to you all later with that so see you in a little bit okay so i made it home and as you can see we have one baby that is asleep this is elijah king knocked out five men over here Having an effect. You awake? Me playing with rubble. Yeah. Say hello. Say hello. Say what it do. No? Okay. Well, so I'm gonna get them out the car. Um, I'm going to have to just take them up first and I am gonna have to come back and get the stuff later because I have to carry Eli up and Eli is heavy, 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 so Zeke is going to walk. Eli is going to be carried. Okay, so I took the boys back up. Well, not back upstairs. I took the boys upstairs. Um, when I picked up Eli, he woke up. So they're just upstairs watching um, their favorite movie currently, which is Onward. But they call it Fairies. Um, and I went up there and I like cleaned up a little bit but now I'm about to get their pumpkins out of the car because it's hot in Florida and I don't want their pumpkins to like go bad um this is my first time buying a pumpkin like by myself as an adult so I don't really know how you put how you're supposed to preserve a pumpkin so better me just get the pumpkin now versus waiting until their sleep later on tonight um I don't always like come out and clean my car out while they're upstairs awake i usually do it either when they're i usually clean out my car either when they're excuse your truck 
I usually clean out my car when they're with their dad or when they're asleep and they're like knocked out for sure for sure but again I don't want these pumpkins to go bad so I'm about to get this stuff out now so this is one of their pumpkins um, I got small ones because um, they're little so we'll wait for bigger pumpkin business when they get bigger and this is the other pumpkin this one is a little bit smaller um, these are what they look like but they didn't pick them out mommy picked them out so mommy just picked up a pumpkin that was kind of cute and I kept it moving I didn't necessarily like size them to get them the same size so pumpkin, pumpkin. so when I walked back in they came to the door you okay no one's crying no one's hurt everybody's having fun so I gave Zeke his pumpkin and he's rolling it like a ball which I guess I can't be mad at that because how he's supposed to know what to do with it. Eli put his back at the door, so what else? Um, but yeah, so they don't cry or anything. And mind you, I was only out there for like two minutes, literally, because I rushed to try and get everything as always. But got it done. Um, the living room doesn't look too messy. Um, I tried to straighten up really quickly. Um, so I guess they're just gonna play roll with these pumpkins um i guess i get my six dollars worth both pumpkins only cost me six dollars together so what else as long as they're having fun i guess i'm having fun show myself because only the back part of my hair is retwisted I know y'all probably don't care but anyway so um the pizza just got delivered um this is obviously the same day as when we went to the pumpkin patch I changed my clothes Ziki only has on a shirt Eli only has on pants um they choose to take off different parts of clothing um but yeah so I didn't want to cook lunch it's only probably like three o'clock um they didn't take like a real nap um but yeah so this is like their official lunch um what they had earlier um was like fruit um and some fries um they didn't like really really yeah. eat so i was like let me just make lunch quick so i ordered pizza um which is one of their faves um, for the most part, they they go ahead and they eat the pepperonis off the pizza first, and then they will actually eat the pizza. Um, they do have wings on their plate, or a wing, I should say. Um, and then I do buy, like, the little cinnamon twist. Um, however, my babies are, like, sugar fiends, so if you give them the cinnamon twist first, they won't eat everything else. Yes, Ziki. Give me a kiss. Oh, no. You don't want to give me no kiss. You don't want to give me no kiss. Okay, what's wrong? No, don't. So, as you can see, he's sleepy. Um, he going to keep acting funny until he take a nap. So, hopefully they will eat this pizza, eat these wings. After they eat a good portion of the pizza in the wings, then I will give them a cinnamon twist. Because like I said, they are sugar heads and they absolutely love it. So I'll give them that and then they'll be able to take their nap. The movie that you hear in the background is Coco. Um, they actually love, love, love Coco. And they love Onward. So those are the two movies that they have on repeat all throughout the day. But I'm going to go ahead and stop talking so I can eat myself. So after the boys ate their pizza and their wings, they actually did not take a nap. 
and I could see that they were starting to get sleepy and a little fussy but I did not want them to go to sleep um, because at that point it was too late for them to take a nap otherwise they would be up all night so I decided to take them outside inside of our complex usually when I take them outside I take them to a local um, park or like a walkway but today I just decided to use the area that's inside of our complex so here you can see the boys are running around, they're laughing, they're having fun. We are kicking um, their bouncy ball back and forth and just really getting them outside and able to like run around um, because I live in a an apartment and so they don't really get to run around that much when they're inside the apartment. So getting them outside is definitely a must. Um, also, I wanted to keep them up before bedtime, so this is what I'm doing. Sometimes I do this with them, especially on the weekend, so usually they will have an activity in the day, like how you saw already with the pumpkin patch, and then at night I will take them to some type of park so they can run around. And then after this portion of the day, they actually go in and take a bath. So here it's bath time and I get them all clean and take them out. Now they're dressed in their pajamas. You can see he's having a little treat. It's actually my ice cream cone, but I got jacked by a three year old. So he's just eating my ice cream. Eli is very sleepy as you can see. He looks like he's about to fall asleep. And we are just watching the Haunted Mansion. So I'm really trying to get them into the Halloween spirit. But that is basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.